What's up guys, Caleb Kosterke here, and we are kicking off the 23-24 snowmobile season. This is going to be the first episode of the year, and if you guys have been watching our YouTube, you've noticed that um, we've been uploading content from last spring. Now, um, we're switching over to this season, so everything you see is going to be within the last week or so from uh, here on out. So it's December 3rd, and this is going to be our second ride of the season. We rode two weeks ago but the snow is pretty shallow. I wanted a 146 because I knew there was only enough snow pack to do wheelies in the meadow. Um, now there's enough snow that I want a 15500, so I'm going to throw this 155 in and then we'll load up and head out in the morning. I do so many track swaps, it's kind of insane. I bet I do more than anyone else out there. Partly because I'm testing different track setups and partly because I'm just super picky about having the right track for the type of riding I want to do that day. Hey dude, how's it going? Uh, so what's your plan for tomorrow? Or do you have a plan? Okay, sweet. Sweet, well let's plan on that. So that was Hayden that I just got off the phone with. I've never actually rode with him, but I've met him um, a couple times and seen him at snowmobile events. It sounds like it's gonna work out to link up with him tomorrow, which should be sweet. And I don't know who else will be in the crew, but it sounded like maybe Scott Iyer and a couple other of the boys from Idaho. Should be a fun day. All right, come check this out. This is going to be a 146 boost, but it's not just going to be 146. It's going to be a 146 with a three inch track. Um, I'm really excited for this build. I'm putting a lot more into this um, than a normal sled just because I can, I guess, and I just want to do something different. So I have running boards going out for powder coating right now. Um, I'm going to put a seat cover on for some added color. I'm going to do backwoods um, subframes. I'm going to shorten the tunnel about four inches because currently it's a 155 tunnel. So I want to maintain that short slash tunnel, um, but obviously the right length for a 146. And then yeah, I'm going to get Olin shocks, Ice Age rails obviously. Um, I'm thinking about doing a lightweight can on this. I've been running stock exhaust but I kind of want to do a titanium tan can just to save a little weight since the boost is um, heavier than the 9Rs. So yeah, this is going to be my baby for this season and then I'll sell it um, at the end of the year. I'm going to try to get like a premium price for it because it's going to be a, a one of a kind build. And over here I have a 165 boost. This will kind of be a, like, I guess a daily driver when I'm not riding the 850. I'm not going to go crazy with this build, kind of the essentials and leave that that. I may shorten the tunnel and put a 155 on it, I haven't decided. I like the 165, I just don't know if I can make it a full season on a 165. So we'll see what happens with that. And then we got a shop full of sleds. Some are rentals. Um, yeah, I guess most of them are gonna be rentals. This one's gonna be Luke's main sled. It's amazing how many sleds you collect when you have a business to run that involves teaching people how to ride. Successful shop day, time to load the sleds up, pack some gear, and then uh, take a nap and hit the road. It's not even that late yet. Eight o'clock, we're doing good tonight. I wasn't sure if I had the right sled for a second. Well, we're here. Just need to wait for the other guys and then we'll push up the logging road that is up there. I assume we're gonna drive up a ways in the truck, but I don't know for sure. Might just park right down here in the valley. There's Scott. 
Man, we got a crew today. No joke. For an it's early season day. Is this? That's how skidoo wheels work? Mint. Don't put your uh, bogey wheels on backwards, boys. Uh, no matter how much we work on sleds, we always do something wrong at some point. stay on grassy slopes I think we're good no broken parts yeah for this size of a group and how hard we're riding it's pretty impressive right? <laughs> well we've only been riding like an hour so true it's, it's who's gonna be the first to break something uh, Jaden <laughs> yeah I would yeah. say so too <laughs> that, tree over there. that one's Jaden right there it's a 155 boost right yep with a 46 tunnel chop nice that's why it's so rowdy We didn't even make it out of the zone that we were just talking about, and we got a bent A-arm! First one of the season. And it wasn't Jaden. No. It was the new guy. <laughs> the new guy. <laughs> yeah, she's toast. Yeah. Gotta pay to play this time of year. It's a max. This max here. Howdy. Bent an A-arm. <laughs> um, it's not broke. It's just bent down. And uh, it's not bent terrible. Like, definitely an issue. Um, the ski toes in when they bend down like this. So what we're gonna do is adjust the tie rod, try to straighten that ski out to make it rideable. I'm not sure how bad it's going to handle, but I, I think it's gonna be rideable as long as we adjust this. It always varies from A-arm to A-arm. Um, so we'll do that and then take it for a test spin and see if it handles okay. Yeah. So we adjusted this tie rod, maxed it out. It's still towed in about like that. So what we're gonna do is pop the hood and adjust that tie rod first adjust this ski, then adjust um, the handlebar adjustment to get everything lined up the best we can. So the skis are straight now, but because we adjusted both tie rods, the handlebars are crooked. Now we're gonna straighten the handlebars out by adjusting this guy right here. Hey, you learn something new every day. And I'm curious what it rides like. <laughs> That's 
So if that was my sled, I would just ride it all day how it is. Honestly, having the blown ski rubber is going to slow a guy down more than that bent A arm now that the skis are adjusted right. This would be a sick zone with more snow. Jade and I are the only ones that came down here. We're going to try to keep the rest of the group out of here because that is not a cool climb out. Well, it's cool for me, but I'll probably hit like six logs. So I just got the GoPro media mod, which is this mic and case for the GoPro. And I'm going to see if I can talk to you guys a little bit while riding and uh, copy Matt's style of vlog because the way he does it's pretty sweet. So Jaden dropped down here, but not all the way to the bottom. He side hilled and then climbed out. He didn't like how thin it is down here. And I don't like how thin it is either, but I want the adventure. First stuck of the day. Somebody's dropping in. Oh yeah, it's Scott. I have the high mark. I can see my ski just past you. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Open stuff for later in the year. Yeah, this so that uh, I did the drop last year. It was like right in between those tight trees. Oh, sweet. Um, but there's another one I think that might. It's not quite as like gnarly, but be another kind of fun one over to the right. Be some sweet 165 boost lines going up yeah. this with a bunch of snowpack. Yeah, this zone is really cool, and there's more snow. <laughs> there's so many like features and stuff. Like even this whole rock, like you can just fly into it. And it just keeps going down the draw too. Yeah, oh, there's a drainage down there. Ooh, it's real fun. We can get out of here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if everyone makes that pull. Oh yeah, Scott made it, Jaden made it. <laughs> Hayden made it, just Nick. And Nick made it. Everyone made it out. Oh, that was a stump.
<laughs> We're all a little rusty today. I think the group's worn out. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> <He's just gonna laughs> walk. walk it out. No more stucks. Well, that was a pretty killer early season day. Pretty minimal parts broke considering how hard we were riding on so little snowpack. Um, started raining, unfortunately, on the way out, so we got pretty wet uh, due to the rain. And I think it's raining all the way up to elevation, at least in these mountains here. So I'm guessing after this storm passes, we're gonna have to head um, farther north to get into some higher elevation and get out of this rain.